recording? Yes, it is recording. Hello everyone, Brian Keene, Mary San Giovanni. Hello. On the road, currently it is, what, 8 o'clock on Saturday morning and we have just left Louisville, Kentucky um, after two great days of signings, wouldn't you say? I would say. Wouldn't you agree? We signed at Conquest Books in Ashland, Kentucky on Thursday. Yesterday, we signed at Butcher Cabin Books in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I find something interesting. Of course, you, you were asking me a lot about when J.F. Gonzalez and I would do this because we lived on the road. We would travel the country every year and sign books. This is the first time you've done anything this extensive. It is. Even though you've been writing as long as, as Jesus and I. So what are your thoughts? Well... I definitely see the appeal of getting out and meeting readers all across the country. You get to see cool places that you might not really have occasion to see or even know about uh, if you don't make this kind of kind of trip. And I do think that it is still an important part of the promotional effort. Plus, it's nice to hear from readers who really enjoy your books. Right. Um, I. I would find this very difficult, though, to sustain for a long period of time, you know, going weeks on end, because I think I'd miss home, I'd miss my cats. It's a lot of car to hotel, hotel to bookstore, bookstore to car, car to hotel, and repeat, you know. But I definitely think it's worth doing on occasion. What is this asshole doing, speaking of worth doing? <laughs> the guy in front of us. Um... Yeah, it's still worth doing, but yes, it was a lot easier to do this when Jesus and I were 35 or 45 than it is to do this at 55. Yes. Um, because they're, they're, that is all it is. It's, it's driving or flying to the next gig, you know, mm -hmm. the next signing. Um, and that's harder at 55. It's harder on your, on your ass, to be quite honest. <laughs> signing in a books a million there and then up Barnes and Noble in Richmond, Virginia and then we're home for a week and then it's on to Chicago and Indianapolis and so on and so on but what we're finding is that we're going to actually have to cut this nationwide tour short um, and that's Mary's fault oh no <laughs> what yeah. did I do? Um, your first printing of Alien Enemy of My Enemy from Titan did so well that it is sold out uh, the first printing is sold out. Uh, the distributors don't have any copies. Bookstores can't get any copies. And uh, even Amazon's stock is running low. The bad news is that uh, Titan, there's going to be a delay before they can do a second printing. So, you know, congratulations to you. Thank you. You know, it's sort it, of. It's absolutely the, the best selling, best reviewed alien novel in, in quite some time. Yay. Um, you know, that's, that's evidenced by customer reviews, by the sales data, uh, but, you know, it also kind of sucks because there are bookstores and libraries who are very interested in having us come to their town, and, and now they just can't get those books. And, yeah, sure, we can show up and sign other books, but the whole point of this mm -hmm. was to promote Mary's novel. Um, so, yeah, more on that later. Anyway, just want to check in, say hello. Proof of life, as they call it. Life. Maybe not for much longer if, if this tanker truck in front of us doesn't find his gas pedal. You know what I but, love about this video? What? Is that Bigfoot's butt has been dangling at the top of it. Well, he won't stretch, right? <laughs> he I won't stretch. Him, but, yeah. Uh, yes, in case anyone's curious, Brian Keene does have a Bigfoot car air freshener. I bought in his this. Car. My oldest son and I, my oldest son David, who is. Uh, in his 30s now, so I, I feel comfortable using his, his real name. He and I went to the Pacific Northwest a few years ago, and uh, I bought this while I was there. And you and I will be in the Pacific Northwest yes, next month, so maybe I will buy a new Bigfoot air freshener. <laughs> so, anyway, peace. Thank, thanks to uh, everybody who's shown up so far on this tour, and to all, Definitely. The, <clears throat> excuse me, all the stores and conventions that have hosted us, and uh, We'll see you on the dates that we can still do, but but as we said, um, it will have to be cut short just because there's no books left to sign. So. <laughs>